guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to anyone that's just clicking on my channel for the first time today my name is Chrissy and I hope you choose to hit that subscribe button and stick around so as you can tell from the title of course today we're going to be talking through all of my favorite drugstore makeup that I loved throughout 2020 so without further ado let's get straight on into it so I'm going to go in the order of how I would do my makeup. So firstly is brows of course. Now we all know my big struggle with my brows. I can never get them to look right. But the first product I have here is from Makeup Obsession. This is their So Fine Brow Pencil. I have mine in the shade Dark Brown. And they do a bunch of other shades too I believe. And this I'm pretty sure only costs £4. And this is actually my... No this is still my first one sorry. But... I literally, as you can see, if that's going to focus, I have like the tiniest, tiniest amount left and I do actually have a backup of this because I love it so much but yeah, this just fills in your brows so nicely, it's so easy to use, it's not too hard but at the same time it's not too soft either, it's like that perfect sort of like in between and it just, it's just lovely and this shade is absolutely perfect for me and I'll just do a little swatch there for you hopefully you can see that nicely but yeah it just gives such a thin stroke if you want to get those fake hair like strokes and i absolutely adore this product and then next up we have this lovely little one from essence this lovely little one from essence this is the tiny tip precise brow pen this is in the shade what shade are you this is the shade dark brown also and this is such a good drugstore version of all those brow pens we're seeing. I think there's one from ABH maybe as well. And this is what the little and this is what the little tip looks like. As the name would suggest, it is teeny tiny. And this just the same as the makeup obsession one. I love them equally. Obviously they're just two different types of brow products, but this one I'll show you. Does little, just does little strokes as well. If you want to get that nice natural feather-like brow, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not sure. I will, but I'm not too sure of the price of this one. Let me just look it up a sec. You can get this on just my look, and it retails for only two pound fifty. Like that is such a steal. I just feel like Essence is such a great affordable brand, and. I'm obsessed with this one. And then sticking with brows, this is one I'm sure you've all heard about. I think everyone, their mum and their dog have heard about this. This is the Pink Honey Honey Glue and I have mine in the Strawberry Sherbet Texture Hold version. And honestly, nothing holds my brows in place like this. I have such thick, coarse eyebrow hairs and this is one of the very few products that actually keeps them in place and holds them down and as you can see I have used quite a lot of mine it's actually ridiculous I need to pick up a new one sometime soon and although technically this isn't drugstore I thought I would include it anyway because it is affordable I think it's about 9.99 so super super affordable and definitely worth the money and 100% worth the hype you guys definitely need to go support Pink Honey they are a small indie brand that I live. And last on the brow front we have this collection Incredi Brow Tinted Brow Mascara and this is in the shade Dark Brunette and it's just a little brow gel that has a little wand that has a little wand that looks like this and I have used and abused this so damn much I probably should pick up a new one because this one is probably way expired but I still have so much product left in there and I'm just obsessed. For the longest time this was all I used until I discovered Pink Honey, the one I talked about previously, but I do still really really love this one. This costs $3.99 from Superdrug and it's been a love of mine for the longest time now, throughout most of 2020 and it's just incredible. So moving on I want to talk about an eyeshadow palette that I absolutely adore and there was no question about what eyeshadow palette I wanted to include as my favourite drugstore one of 2020 and it is the one from Makeup Obsession and Illuminati, Tiffany I think her name is. 
She is so talented and I am obsessed with this palette. So congrats to you girl, you absolutely smashed it. This is the, I can't actually say that word so I'm not even going to try because I'll just butcher it. But this packaging, I am absolutely obsessed. It's so pretty, it is stunning. And this has a really unique layout as you can see. And of course I have used mine to death, like it is so dirty I should probably uh, give it a good clean but these shades and this palette are just everything I want in a palette like I'm a rainbow lover I love to do bright bold colourful looks and this palette is just perfect for that the pigmentation is insane it is next level and the shimmers are beautiful too I'm not really a shimmer person but I do like to put a little bit of shimmer on my inner corner and brow bone sometimes and these are just brilliant they perform so well they blend like an absolute dream and i cannot get enough of this palette and i'll definitely be using it a lot throughout 2021 as well i believe this costs 20 pounds or so i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it's around about 20 pounds which for the amount of shadows you get is not bad at all i think it's a really good price and yeah this palette is just the love of my life <laughs> okay whew. I just had to take my jacket off there because I am absolutely boiling in my makeup room right now but next up we're going to talk about lashes now neither of these are technically drugstore um no neither of these are drugstore but they are incredibly affordable so I thought I would give them a mention because I have loved these they're probably my two favourite lash brands ever so firstly we so firstly we have these from Lash Dupe. I do have so many more pairs of these but these are just the ones I grabbed first and these are insane. They retail for only £4 each which is just madness like where else can you get lashes for that price and you can also save 20% with my discount code BBC20. I'll make sure to leave that down in the description for you all but she does so many stuff. She also does lashes that you can get for £2 as well, which I also really love, but I need to pick up some more of those. But yeah, these lashes, they are just so nice. The packaging is, oh, this one's fallen out. The packaging is absolutely stunning, and I would 100% recommend these to you all. And definitely go check out Lash Duke because they are a really small brand, and I know they would absolutely appreciate your support. And this isn't an ad, it may sound like it, but it's not. I just really love their lashes. And then next up, you've probably all heard of them. They are the Insta Famous brand. These are lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics. I just picked out three pairs at random because I have so many of these as well. I have the style here, this is Stormy. And then I have the style Lemon Moran here. And also Peachy Pie, which I use all the downtime along, along with my Lash Dupe lashes. And if you're in MUA or like you have an Instagram page where you do makeup, etc., you can actually apply to get 60% off, which makes these lashes only £4. Originally they are £10, but that is just a bargain. I'm always on their website looking to see what styles they've released, and I'm obsessed. So, cream gel liners. These are the ones from Colourpop. I only recently discovered these, like in the last... I want to say two months so maybe this is cheating maybe it's not I don't know but I really really love these I see a couple are actually missing from this wrong they're probably floating around here somewhere so it's fine but I was just blown out of the water I could not believe how well they worked on my waterline I have the worst watery eyes especially when I'm doing my makeup so normally these types of liners don't stay in my waterline but these ones actually did which I was really surprised by and yeah, they just glide on so nicely. And they're from Colourpop as well, I think I already said that. Which means they are so, so affordable. Like all the stuff in this video, because obviously it's all drugstore slash affordable makeup. But yeah, I cannot believe I did not try these sooner. I wish I did, but good things come to those who wait. And yeah, these are just fabulous. Like I definitely recommend you check them out. And I think it's awesome as well that now if you're in the UK, like me, you pay your customs up front on Colourpop. So there's no like surprises when it gets to the UK and you see a letter through your door saying you owe this much to the post office <laughs> but yeah 100% recommend these these are my holy moving breath. on to the next part 
of the face we have primer and this one has been my love since they sent it to me back in may i want to say may maybe around about then but yeah this is from xx revolution one of the new sister brands to revolution beauty and this is their cloud complexion primer and hopefully you can it doesn't really pick up very well on camera but the packaging is really beautiful it's really like iridescent and pretty and this is what the product on the inside looks like it's a really really interesting texture it's like nothing i've ever used before it literally feels like a cloud and it smells like coconuts it's just the best and this works so well underneath every single foundation that i have tried it with i used it today and yeah this is just beautiful it makes your skin feel so baby soft it's especially good on my dry skin i'm not sure how it works on oily skin but yeah from dry skin this is just perfect I have a couple different foundations that I'm going to talk about but the first one I want to talk about is this one from The Ordinary as you can see mine is filthy I probably should have cleaned it first but never mind and this is their serum foundation I have mine in the shade 1.1 N Fair Neutral and I got this from Beauty Bay and I think this is around about £6 so it's a really good price you get how much product do you get? You get 30ml of product, which I believe is standard for most foundations. It's what I have on today. Hopefully it looks good on camera because in person it is just... It is just the bee's knees. It is absolutely incredible. It was my holy grail for the longest time. And I still do love it. It still is one of my holy grails. But obviously, you know, I try out a lot of makeup. And foundations is obviously included in that. So I have two others that I'm going to talk about in a minute. But yeah, this is just really lovely. It looks so natural on the skin. If you're someone like me that prefers a more natural look to the skin, like a more light medium coverage as opposed, as opposed to full coverage, then you will really like this, I think. And the next foundation is one that I tried out more towards the end of 2020. And this is the Body Collection England Illuminating Foundation. They actually sent me over this shade which is a bit dark for me so I went and purchased this one because it's literally only £4 from Wilco so you cannot go wrong so what I do is just mix these two together to get my perfect shade or what I believe is my perfect shade I don't actually know because a lot of the time I'm really bad with matching my shades but we move but yeah this is stunning for £4 if you can get your hands on this if you live in the UK I don't know if this is available in any other countries but you need to try it. Obviously we're in lockdown in the UK at the minute but you can purchase this online if you want to because Wilco do have an online website but yeah this says it's light to medium, buildable coverage, you get 30ml of product, it is vegan which is great and it is cruelty free as well it says so yeah this is just all round a beautiful foundation. It blends out so nicely, looks super seamless on the skin and I just love it, love it, love it. And the last foundation I have to talk about is, ooh, is this one from Revolution. This is their Conceal and Glow foundation. And this is a medium to full coverage. I don't find it's quite full coverage because I like to use it with a sponge, which I really prefer. But this is one that I like if I'm wanting a little bit more coverage as opposed to my other foundations. This does give a bit more coverage for those days where I do want that. But this just looks stunning as well on the skin, like I keep saying. I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over and over. But that's just how it goes. But yeah, this just looks beautiful. It is nice and glowy, as the name would suggest. It just looks so radiant and beautiful, and I'm obsessed. I think this is about... 9 or £10, I want to say. I could be wrong, but you can get this from Superdrug, obviously, as well as the Revolution Beauty website if you're international. And yeah, definitely, definitely check this one out. Of course, next comes concealer. I have two here that I'm gonna talk to you about. The first one is from e.l.f. This is their Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. I actually tried that original camo concealer first and hated it. Like, it was so dry, it just looked awful under my eyes. Did not like it at all. And then they released this hydrating one and I was like, hmm. I need to try that out. So I picked this one up and I'm so glad I did. This is the best drugstore concealer of all time. 
and literally hand or heart I can say that it definitely is I think it's literally a fiver from Superdrug or the elf website and I'm obsessed with this literally I have used so much I don't know if you can tell there but this just covers my dark circles underneath my eyes so well like you would look and you would think oh, what under eye circles it is that good it just does the job and more and I don't know what else to say literally this is my ride or die I will always go back to this and yeah you need it in your life and then next up is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer I have mine in the shade C1 now this comes very very close to the elf one it is magic in a bottle literally it covers my under eyes so well and I'm not sure of the price this is the bigger one you get how much product do you get in here you get 13 grams of product which I feel which I feel like is a lot for a concealer I think this is like seven or eight pounds I want to say I could be wrong like I keep saying with most of these products but this is just beautiful it's so hydrating it doesn't look dry or crusty or anything and it sets down really nicely same with the elf one but yeah I adore both of these but this one is my ride or die let's move on to setting powders and for that I do have three different ones and I just want to quickly say that for me because I have dry skin I prefer to just set my under eyes and like my t-zone sometimes because otherwise powders can make me look a bit dry and crusty and dusty and ooh. so yeah I have three different ones like I said okay so the first one I have here is from Sleek this is the face warm baking and setting powder I don't use it to bake I don't actually like baking but this is so nice underneath my eyes but yeah this is a beautiful setting powder really affordable obviously and I have it on now I'm not sure what it's picking up like on camera but I find this can be slightly too dark so it's not my go-to mostly during the winter I prefer it more during the summer when I have like a tan shall we say <laughs> But yeah, this just looks really beautiful under the eyes. It it sets my concealer down really lovely and beautifully. And yeah, there's not really a lot you can say about powders. It either works or it doesn't, I sort of feel like. But yeah, this one works super well. Next is this baby from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's their Halo Glow setting powder in the shade Light. And mine is an absolute mess. I don't know if you can see that there. I, keep, I kept forgetting to screw the lid up properly inside so it's just gone everywhere but never mind but this is again alongside the sleek powder this is just beautiful i don't really feel like it gives much of a glow but at the same time it doesn't look matte so i really do like that about this powder it works perfectly for my dry skin it looks insanely beautiful under the eyes sets my concealer down lovely and yeah i feel like i'm repeating myself here so i'll just quickly go on to this one here which is the lottie london ready set go translucent setting powder and same for this one as it was for the other two it's just a really great drugstore powder i don't really know what else to say i feel like i'm repeating myself they all do a really similar job so yeah these three are amazing so now I want to talk about a cream product that I really love from Makeup Obsession. I have three different shades here. I do also have a few other shades in my drawer. But these are the ones that I have here. They are really stunning shades and they work really nicely. Of course, you want to use these before you set down your makeup. I find that works best. I know some cream products you can use over top of powder, but I feel like these definitely work better on a wet base as opposed to a set down dry base if that makes sense i think it does well let me just swatch one of them for you you just twist them up like so and then this is what this shade here and then that is what that shade there looks like a really nice pinky muted kind of shade this is the shade QAF oh that's a cute name I've never really paid much attention to the names but yeah this is the shade QAF Ooh. and these just apply so nicely they give a nice flush of colour 
they're not too pigmented so you don't go in and you're like oh sugar how am i gonna blend that out and they blend out really nicely like a dream and uh, these are just stunning i think they're about six pounds so again super affordable and now for bronzer another, Re another revolution product surprise <laughs> they just do so many good products so it's no surprise that a lot of their products are featured in my video this is their sculpting bronzer with cocoa extract this is what it looks like here packaging is really nice also it looks really nice and expensive when actually it's not which i always love but yeah, this is a beautiful bronzer. It looks so nice on the skin. I think it's a matte bronzer. Well, for me, it comes out as a matte bronzer anyway. It's what I'm wearing on my face now. And I just love this so, so much. It's not overly pigmented, so like you can build it up really nicely and you don't go too ham straight away, which I actually love in a bronzer. I prefer like bronzers and blushes to be able to build them up rather than go in with too much and not be able to blend it out so this one is great the shade is great it's perfect for me it is a beautiful shade i absolutely am obsessed and then for highlighter i have this one here from xx revolution i think i have another shade of this as well actually which is which is the one i actually prefer so this is the um, side by side they probably look exactly the same on the camera because of the lights but this one this one here in the shade reactive is a more pinky one and then this one here in the shade echo is a more like champagne -y, silvery sort of shade and these apply so nicely let's just do a little swatch like they are super intense They are so, so, so intense. They just look stunning. That is that one there. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah, these highlighters, they just, they look so beautiful on the face. I have it on my nose here today, on my inner corner and my brow bone. And I really, really, really love these. They just look oh so good i'm obsessed as i keep saying with everything i feel like i'm just saying the same damn thing over and over and over but honestly these are so beautiful i think they're a baked formula so they really do pack a punch but yeah these are my holy grails of 2020 so in terms of set and sprays i have three here two are the same just in different shades but the first one i want to talk about is the lolly london dewy set and mist now this reminds me a lot of the ABH set and spray. They f feel so similar when I spray them on my face. They give a similar appearance to my makeup. But yeah, this is just incredible. It smells really good. It sets my makeup down really nicely. It's lovely and dewy as you would expect. Oh, let's just spray some now. So, so good. I really do love this one and it does a great job at holding your makeup in place so I would definitely recommend it of course as with all these products. And then next is one if I want more of a highlighty glow all over my face if that makes any sense. These are ones that you have to shake up of course and they are from LA Girl. They are the shimmer spray finishing spray for face and body and these are the shades here super super pretty this one's more of like a rosy bronzy one and then this one's more like a champagne-y white one but both of these are really stunning and i've used them quite a bit and there's still loads left so you definitely get your money's worth you get 80 ml of product and yeah these just make you look insane so glowy so dewy just magical and it makes your highlighter pop so much too and then last but certainly not least moving on to lip products firstly here we have these from pixie now i wasn't entirely sure if these are drugstore or high end but i know mostly especially in the us you get these at the drugstore i believe so i thought i would include these in my drugstore video rather than the high end one but these are the pixie beauty what are you you don't actually know what they are 
obviously, obviously they're their liquid lips but I don't know their actual name because it's not on here but I have the shades Posh Nude, Berry Beauty which is what I'm wearing today paired with a gloss and then Coral Bang so that is so that is the three shades there really stunning shades and these apply amazingly they glide on super smooth they dry down really nicely they don't crack they're not drying at all on my lips and they pair really nicely with glosses as well which i have two up here which i absolutely love I and mean, you can't get these in store but they are really affordable i think these are 9.99 and you can also save 10 percent with my affiliate code chrissy10 these are from September Rose Cosmetics. They are her lip glosses, of course. I have two shades here. And I do also have some others floating around somewhere. But, but these just apply really, really nicely. And they are not sticky in the slightest. They give such a nice glossy finish to any matte liquid lipstick that you might own. They do pair really, really good with most of the ones I've tried them with. But yeah, these are insane. Oh, like I said, they're not sticky. They apply really nicely. They give such a nice glossy sheen to your lips. And they pair really nicely with liquid lipsticks. What more could you want? So yeah, that is it. Those are all my favourite products. Or favourite drugstore products, sorry, of 2020. Let me know if you guys have tried any of them out. And what your thoughts are. And also what your favourite drugstore products of 2020 are down in the comments below and yeah I think I'm also going to do a high-end version of this as well so do let me know if you'd like to see that and yeah please do give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video bye guys